Hello again, everybody. Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Thursday, the 20, 20th of August. And boy, it was today ugly. Probably the ugliest day of the year as far as I'm concerned, um, with the Dow down 300 plus points in the NDX and S&P really falling uh, multiple percentages. I, I just think that we're getting close, but the oscillators just aren't oversold enough. Not yet. We could get a rally from as early as tomorrow morning, but it may come from a lower level. Bottom line is we're going to look at some longs and shorts. And uh, on the long side, most of them are ultra shorts. So that, that gives you a state of the uh, stock market. <clears throat> Looking at the biotech ultra short, the BIS. Now, <clears throat> the way I consider this is a nice little left shoulder head, right shoulder kind of base pattern. Today it popped up near resistance. The resistance on this is about 30.87. Look where it closed, 30.85. So <clears throat> we can gap up and run sharply if this market falls apart. We could very well see this in the mid-30s, and so keep an eye on BIS for a trade potentially even tomorrow. Now that it's broken through the declining top sign, moving average is crossing over, and it's consolidated there, and now moving up again with good volume today. Up next is the EDZ. That's the um, uh, triple bear for emerging markets, and this thing's really ripped. Take a look at the move from uh, under 25 to 50. I mean, we doubled. So I'm not advocating buying this, especially at these lofty levels, because when you spike up like that, you often get the strap pullback here and here, here and here. So I would think that this is also telling me <clears throat> that the short-term trend for small cap and, em and emerging markets, uh, we'll get to the rest in a minute, <clears throat> are in spike up mode and maybe nearing a bottom of those markets <clears throat> and the top of the also shorts. Now, there are some stocks that did okay. Let's take a look at EFOI. This was actually up a fraction of 40 cents on a really, really bad day. And when you see a stock doing that, always watch relative strength in a bad market because usually the stocks that perform the best in the down market are ones that really go when the market turns around. Uh, lots of uh, volume and technical surging in here. And although there is some uh, support and I'd probably want you to stop at under 15, <clears throat> they're about, I would have to say that we could see the stock in the mid-20s if the market does get any kind of rally. Keep an eye on it. KEYS, was, that's the spinoff from Hewlett Packard. Spectacular, explosive move <clears throat> on blowout earnings today. Big, big gap. Now, there is resistance up in that zone. We got up near it and, and backed up a little bit. But this could very well, if it does back and fill in here, then move up into the mid, even high 30s. It's really nice news on Lilly today, drug-wise, and the stock popped out of a wedge and held for most of the day, closing up 356 or four and a quarter percent in this market with almost 11 million traded. Now, there is a double top up near 90 that we need to be aware of, but the targets are 93 and 96 and a half going forward. Now the SPXU. As you know, we had a nice trade on that today, intraday. <clears throat> what I want to point out here is that another basis formed in this one, after a big drop, you can see how the stock is based out in the low to mid-30s. Now, the last two days it popped, it popped on volume. And we have resistance to, to watch carefully around 36, and today's high at 35.82 and close at 35.78 up 212, but after hours even higher, it tells me there's a possibility that if the market does get it. <clears throat> an additional downside um, tomorrow, maybe Monday, we could see that uh, a cascading type waterfall. This could get up to 37 and a half, and even as high as 41, 42. Keep an eye on it. And now the Russell 2000 breaking out of the base as well after a long downtrend, reversing. And today was a breakout day, spiking 213 or seven and a half percent on 1.1 million, which isn't a huge volume, but. This one looks like if it does continue and we get a really nasty market, my target's all the way up here near 35. So we may see a spike up in this one as well. Moving on to TZA, which is the um, small cap triple bear, really broke out as well, in indicating um, perhaps if we do get any follow through for forward, we can get a spike down in the market and a spike up in this, in this in index. The small caps could suffer. Um, over the next day or two. We'll just have to see how it goes. In the meantime, keep an eye on resistance at today's high around 11 and a half. UBXY, another good day there as it spiked up um, 3, 456 to 31, 36 and traded as high as 33 in the aftermarket, all the way up in that area, right near resistance. And that's going to be a tough area to get through. But if it doesn't get through there, um, you know, we can see a pullback. We saw that spike hit, it didn't work. If it does get through there, minimum target is 36, and then maybe uh, it fills the gap upwards of 39. <clears throat> lastly is the Chinese ETF, the Yang. It's had a big move. 
from the 50 range to 110, that's more than 100%. So I'm not adverse to um, being careful with this one, to say the least. But you can see there's a lot of room to run, even as high as 150 on this stock, if you got a complete blowout of the Chinese markets. Keep an eye on this one. The resistance right now is about 115, uh, 15 and a half in that area. Moving over to the box of shorts. Cabela's. Well, I keep telling you that these um, educational stocks look terrible, but this, I'm sorry, that's not an educational stock. I was thinking of a different one. CAB is retail, but this has been in the downtrend for a while. And actually, it's retail and sporting goods. The stock popped down, broke down here. That was a big breakdown. A one, two, three, four, five way move back to resistance, then the rollover. What's forming now? Well, it appears to be another bear flag. See it? If I'm looking at this now as a target, 39 is my next target. It's about five points lower. Caterpillar tractor. Take a look at the massive top that formed on this one. The course of the last few years in here. Major support was broken recently here. And the stock's formed a bear flag. Today dropped back a dollar. It may be falling apart. But the angle of descent on this one wouldn't shock me to see this move down below 70 quickly. CEB, we have a box of swing short on this one. After a spike down and a rising bear flag, we broke down today, dropping a dollar rate at 2.3%. But I think there's more in store. If the market gets really nasty here, we could see this dropping below 70, even as low as 67.5. CMPR is a box of short as well. The top is broken. The bear wedge is there. We dropped back 304 today, or 4.3%. I'm looking for a test of 63, and it dropped to 56. Create tells another box of short. Came down, bounced, came down, bounced, formed the big wedge, and broke down today, dropping 367 or 7 and 3 quarter percent. Look where it is, right on support. We break here, we're looking at 37.8. Constant contact. Well, I'm a little surprised because I know that uh, we do a lot of business with this company, and this is. And I heard they're doing great, but it doesn't matter if they're doing great. There is your head and shoulder top. There's a bear wedge, a breakdown, another bear flag, a big one, and now another bear wedge. I can see 22 and even 18 and a half coming up. Data, that's Tableau Software. Broke the major trend here. Snap back to resistance. It's forming a big wedge. The targets are 87 and 77 going forward. Careful. Mallinckrodt. Well... The big breakdown from the massive top formation here from the bear wedge, we put a swing short on it, and look at that falling away. Targeting 83, yeah, they're about. Qualys, Q-L-Y-S. Broke this little wedge in here after trying to hold for about a week. Not that little wedge. And that broke down today, too. I think this one's heading to 27. Sky, uh, Skyworks. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder, down sloping neckline. Breakdown, snap back a few times, couldn't get through resistance. Roll over Beethoven. Looking for 79 short term, maybe even 73.4. New EI sees a box of short from way back, continues to look ugly. Right on a massive neckline of a major top information with a target of 41. And lastly is United Rentals. One I gave you back here in June when I was trading in the 90s, here it is in the 60s. And another bear wedge. That's the way it is tonight. And that's not a pretty picture, folks. Hang in there. I'll help you as much as I can. Feel free to ask me questions whenever you have a problem. HB out.